Kaza, Voices of the Dusk, uh, an early access game, currently on Steam. It seems like I should give it a try, not the least of which because Dragon Rider set me up with some packs. See how they... Oh, there's even a casual mode. Okay. I guess I could start off in casual until I at least know which faction I want to play as. But I'm just going to take these basic decks for a spin and just see. See if I can get a feel for what each of the factions is trying to do. So, let's do it. Let's jump in. We're going to begin with Glory. Glory, I think I feel the most confident to jump into, because I'm pretty sure I've seen Dragon Rider. I think this is Dragon Rider's jam, if I'm not mistaken. Man, so casual. Just playing super casual. I know we're just hanging out casually. Playing against uh, this dude who's looking into the spirit realm. Okay. Dry card, expend one, gain plus one play for the turn. I think expend is where you mill yourself. Take a card from the top of your deck, put it directly in the discard pile. I think I'll mulligan back both of these. Actually, oh, it seems like I want some creatures. I'll keep this calf, though, just in case I really miss. Okay. We are going second, so we gain the amulet. I'm probably going to be playing very slowly, because I'm going to be looking at the card art. Invoke supplies. Heal three to any target. Okay, including myself. Okay, interesting. All right, all right, good. Look at the taparent calf. <laughs> just a little baby elephant. So this is just a two mana, two, three. Okay, this I understand. This is a river crocolisk. <laughs> this, this is something I, I understand. You gain plus one health for each friendly support. Okay. I think supports are... And they are not creatures. They are um, not exactly enchantments either. Hey, aggressive settler. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna commit. If I play out the am, okay. If I use my amulet, then I could double calf this turn and really just get onto the board. And then next turn. Actually, you know what? I don't, this might not be an effective use of my amulet. But I get to get both River Crocolisks on the board immediately. Oh, and I get a decision. Go ahead and make a Frontier Combatant as well. It's a 2 mana 3 2. Or I can gain a short bow, piece of equipment, deal 1 damage to any target. Huh. I think I'll actually I'll just take the creature. 2-3, two, 2-3, three, two, three, and a 3-2. You want to talk about tempo, my friend? Have some tempo. Okay. Pacify. Wait. Pacify enemy character with attack 3 or less until the end of the night. Oh, okay. Pacify cannot attack, but still heal, but still defends itself. Okay. My board has been pacified. Use to heal three to any target. Okay, and what's this guy do? Efficient of the sacrifice at the end of each leader's turn. They take one damage? Oh, and he's down to... Okay, so he's down to 19 now? Okay. Uh, I'm not going to be able to... I guess I'm just going to have two copies of supplies in play. Can I do that? Can I have two copies of supplies in play? Okay. Okay, and pass the turn. So now we have these that we can activate in order to either heal our creatures, heal ourselves, and we have two stacks of it. And if I ever requisition my wall builder back, they could potentially provide benefits there as well. When you take damage, gain one attack. Oh, look at that synergy. All right. Frontier mode. Oh, just the one mana two two. Okay. Yeah, the wall builder. You gain plus one health for each friendly support. So that would be plus two health right now. Reign of arrows deals two to enemy characters and one to my characters. Aggressive. Okay, I think I can use the brave settler to clear this two one, and then I can use my three two to clear this three three, which leaves me with. 
Do I want a 3 mana 3-3 three, three, or a Reign of Arrows? I think I'll commit the Reign of Arrows for now. Use my Settler. Clear this guy. Go ahead and clear this guy. Like so. I really just want this as a three, as a three, three. I'm sure I'll heal. Oh, I can heal above the, the maximum. Nice, okay. And get downtown for two. Pass the turn. Okay, okay. Man, I have so much healing. If he does anything that doesn't clear my guys. Plus I have a rain of arrows in my mana deck. I forget what this deck is called. I have though a rain of arrows area of effect removal spell in my mana pool and I can play stuff out of that mana pool later on. Although next turn I'm going to get to make my level 4 decision. Raging soldier 2-2 two, two with, with aggressive. Destroy all characters with attack one or less and give plus one attack to my characters. Oh, plus one attack to my characters seems great. Heal five. What was the other part of that? Heal five and gain plus one play. Oh, okay. It doesn't use up his play economy. And that's the. Okay. The, oh, that was his level four decision. Okay. When you dedicate. When you dedicate, gather one, and draw two cards. I think gather is when you move stuff from your discard back into your deck. Draw a card, expend one, gain one play. Do I want additional plays this turn? Deal three damage to any target seems great. I want to axe, I definitely want to axe handle this person. Just get it out of the way. Defiant Rebel, while your health is ten or less, has plus three attack. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh! I guess I'll just play out my 2-2, two, two, and then I'm going to use my... So my two plays are going to be play out this Militiaman, Axe Blow, this Barossi Witch, and then give all of my guys plus attack. Okay, setting them to nine, passing the turn. What's up, dude? You're staring down the lethalist of lethal setups right now. The lethalist of lethal damage. The most lethal. The lethalist setup perhaps the world has ever seen. Withered air. What did that do? Deal two damage to all allies and all enemies. Okay. You misunderstand how much I care about my health. I don't. I don't care about my health. My health is a resource that I'm going to use to reduce your life to zero. A victory for the good guys. And that was glory versus... Hey! Oh man, making some gold? Great. Oh, that was glory versus influence. I gotta say, glory as a class, at least based on that last game, at least from that from that, uh, that experience right there. Glory is a deck I understand. <laughs>